and welcome to the YouTube channel of Motor India. Today we have with us Mr. Dimitro Krishnan. He is the Managing Director of Old World Construction Equipment. Dimitro, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, sure. So tell me about you know, how uh, the industry is going and then how Volvo CE is you know, preparing itself. You launched uh, a new product, I think, a year ago. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, first and foremost, uh, very warm welcome to XCON. Thank you. The Festival of Construction Equipment Industry, ah, every two nice. years. It's a mecca which nobody should miss attending uh, in whoever matters in our industry and our user industry should definitely make it. Mm. It's a platform for uh, mm. a great launch of products, new technologies mm. and networking as well. So, when it comes to the market itself, construction equipment market has seen a little bit of a slowdown in 2025 and it's uh, something we are seeing after quite some time actually. Mm. 2020, 22 and 23 we saw very strong growth. 24 okay. was a flattish year in the election year, but 25 we have seen a drop in the market. Mm. That way the sentiments are slightly low, but even then, you know, about 10% drop over a peak of 2024 is mm. um, still a fairly large market and still continues to be the third largest market in the uh, C in the C market globally. When it comes to Volvo, we launched our EC210e last year mm. and we have seen a phenomenal success with that product. Mm. Uh, what we said, Karo Zyada Ki Umeed, mm. it has definitely lived up to that name because what we've seen is uh, customers receiving Zyada savings, Zyada performance and uh, you know, uh, uptime. But what we have seen is Zyada market share. So we have seen an improvement in our volumes in a mm. slowing market, we've grown, mm. which is a testament to the product's capability mm. and our distribution mm. capability that we've done. So mm. this time in XCON, we are launching an uh, additional variant of it, which okay. is called the EC215, mm -hmm. which is slightly bigger machine with a slightly bigger bucket and a more heavier undercarriage meant for more tougher jobs. Uh, and uh, we are hoping that customers who um, patronized us for the 210E will now uh, also for their specialized roles, jobs where they need a slightly bigger machine will patronize the 215. And we will of course enter a few more new segments as well with that. Like yeah. Like segments, uh, quarrying, uh, smaller okay. quarrying activities, and you know, heavier earth moving, uh, long reach application where we have to go dig deeper and, and reach uh, further away. Mm. So, the machine has got a bigger undercarriage, so you can actually uh, have much you know, uh, longer uh, attachments on it to mm -hmm. do the work. So, mm. that is really the mm. purpose of it. In addition to that, we also have a soil compactor, our stage 5 machine, which is uh, the workhouse of the industry when it comes to compaction work. And then we have, of course, showcased our electric L120 loader, mm. which is, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, definitely going to make a very big mark in the electric loader market in India, which is growing quite fast. Mm. Uh, so we have started deliveries of it in India now, and that's something which is, uh, you know, we're looking forward to. In addition, we have a pre-launch mm. of a 65 ton excavator. Mm -hmm. uh, we are showcasing it in XCON given the platform that we have, mm. but we will be bringing it to market only next year in, in, in quarter two. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're looking forward to customers experiencing first experiencing firsthand what it can do for mm -hmm. mining and uh, mm -hmm. reducing the cost per ton mm -hmm. for uh, for earth moving in mining. Mm -hmm. So this is basically our showcase. In addition, of course, our solutions offer is there. You know, our equipment as a service, our parts and services offers. Mm -hmm. All of these are our showcase. Can you talk about the customer engagement part because that's more important. You spoke at length uh, during the last interview. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the customer engagement part. So our customer access is through our go-to-market strategy, which is primarily through our distribution. We have 20 dealers across the country, uh, with 340 different locations we are present across the country. So we are in the length and breadth of our uh, of the market, and which has also uh, reached this level with about 25% growth in our network since we launched the 210E. Mm -hmm. So what we see is that our distribution is highly charged up mm -hmm. with this product. Volvo is going closer to mass market. And, uh, and with that, their energies are higher, their capability to invest is much better. And they're growing in manpower, leadership capabilities and facilities. Mm -hmm. So customer engagement is something which is critical for any industry and the C industry is much more. Mm -hmm. Relationship sells machines. Mm -hmm. It's not just technology that sells machines. So we're definitely looking forward to mm -hmm. a, a, you know, further growth and, and much bigger presence in the Indian market going mm -hmm. forward with the volume mm -hmm. You also spoke about that CAST, you know, that uh, and mentioned that that uh, technology will be, yeah. you know, introduced. In so, all CAST is actually a methodology of design, which is common architecture shared technology, which actually uh, helps us to have a common base platform of products across multiple factories in the world. Mm. 
and we use same base platform to design a customized product for each market. Mm. So, so the base technology, core technologies are similar like Posicon hydraulic systems or electronic systems that we use on our machines are very similar. But then the customer end of it, which is the you know the size of the bucket or the big size of the boom, these are things that we vary in order to actually be able to deliver a, mm. a more customized offer to end customers. Mm. So yes, it's in play. We are steadily increasing more and more models using this common uh, technology platform that we have created. You know, we have a possibility to, with the same base machine, mm. adapt it to say eight to 10 different applications. So that's okay. definitely the case. So that. Mm. And uh, the software defined vehicle is, you know, that's been you know, mm. the talk of the town in mm. the automotive segment. Mm. It is, I think, slowly getting into also the you know, mm. off-road construction mm. equipment. What is your thought and then what is Volvo's uh, Solution. Yeah, I think the software defined vehicle is definitely a big thing in the automotive industry and Volvo is uh, definitely, you know, working with that. We have a, you know, collaboration with Daimler on, on the software yeah. design vehicle, defined vehicle concept. Uh, in the, our industry, it's not yet the, that's really the, uh, you know, the main thing as of today. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a lot of embedded software systems in our products, you know, electronics as well as multiple computer systems that are used for managing the product, but uh, it's not the same as the automotive industry. It's okay. slightly different in that sense. Okay. Engine management, we have similarity okay. with automotive, but when it comes to using of the engine mm. for multiple applications, they are, mm. they have to be tuned very, very differently. Okay. Great. So, um, software defined vehicle in the automotive industry has much bigger implications when it comes to the future and of common you know, uh, fleet management and yeah. all those kind yeah. of things, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which could potentially be there. But let's see how it moves in the automotive sector. Maybe it will make it will make sense an impact in our industry, uh, particularly for the mass market products. You know, where fleets are there. But the important thing in our industry would be that we need to be able to talk between multiple yeah. multiple types of products. Right. Right.